hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this video i am uh, i am creating for setting up my java project so many of the students are facing issue that how to set up java project and uh, which i have developed in java jsp and mysql so many many of the students ask question from me that how to run your java project right so i have a separate video for set uh, for explaining the folder structure of the project and this video i am creating for setting up the java projects right so uh, for running the java project uh, you need some of the softwares on your system and if i have sent you uh, email then you will get all of those softwares in your email id first thing also uh, the jam server right so you need to install the jam server first on your system don't, you don't need to modify any of the things just follow the next 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 steps and after that that jam server will be installed in your system right the second software which you need is the tomcat tomcat version is 7 i'm using right so you need to install the tomcat version 7 and you don't need to add any information just follow the next you don't need to add any of the admin credentials just follow next 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 and install it right don't change the configurations right the third one is the jdk and 1.8 currently i'm using jdk 1.8 so you need to install the jdk 1.8 on your system for running the project because i have used jdk 1.8 for developing all of my java projects right so these three softwares you need for running uh, your project the java project right so let me explain you uh, one by one so the first for running the jam if you have installed the jam then you need to search the jam control panel from the start button and if you click on the jam control panel then you will get this link you will get this window here you need to start the apache and mysql right so start the apache first once it's started then it will be in green and the port will come here right once you click on the mysql then the mysql port will come here also that is a 3306 the fourth thing the most important thing uninstall all of all of the software right all of the all of the mysql uh, my sql related software software from your system because it will conflict right so if you have my sql uh, software already then this my sql will not work so uninstall right the third fourth thing uninstall all of jam all vamp and tomcat tomcat from your system from your system if you have already you have already right if you don't have then no need to uninstalling it right you need to install all of this software on the right so currently you can check the apache and mysql is running so it's perfect for checking the thing you need to uh, open that uh, 127 that it's running or not yeah it's running and if you click on php my admin then it will show right this page will come only and only if you were jam is your jam apache is running and mysql is running if it doesn't work run then this page will not work now it's off uh, it's the step of the jam server now come on the tomcat server right for tomcat server you need to search monitor tomcat here monitor tomcat you can see monitor tomcat monitor tomcat right once you click on the monitor tomcat then just uh, uh, click you will get this window or if you click this window if you uh, get this window then you need to start right once you click on the start then this tomcat will be started right you can say it's starting so you can see it's starting right so it's started right and once it's started then you can open and check the page here 8080 so you can check the tomcat home page is loading here right so if you don't get that window then 
you can check this here right also so this is the tomcat icon right click and you can stop the services from here as well as once you stop it uh, stop services then it will be stopped so you can stop from here also right and you can start so i am cancelling it so if you stop it then you will not get any of the page here it's saying that the site is not reachable right if you start it then it will be the tomcat will be started and it will show the home page right so you have already configured this software right this tomcat will work only and only if you have installed the jdk so the step will be uh, you need to install jdk 1.1 first 1.8 first and after a tomcat server right <coughs> okay now uh now i am going on the project folder so this is the project folder what which i have downloaded so suppose you will get this type of zip file so for configuring this project right click and extract it right once you extract it then all of the file will be extracted and you will get all of the files here right it will take a little bit time right so you can check it's extracting <coughs> Okay, so so it has extracted and you will get this folder here, right? The farm management system and the farm SQL. You need to copy this folder, right? Not so that many of the students copy this folder. No, you need to copy this underscore folder. You need to copy and open the C drive. So I am going on the C drive and the location of the program files, Apache softwares, and then Topcat version 7, and the web apps, and then copy and paste here. Continue. I need to check which Tomcat I am using. I am using this 7.7, .7, right? So now you have copy and pasted here right so you can see the location it's in the c drive program files apache software tomcat 7.0 and web apps now you need to run this okay you will get some of the page yeah the page is loading here right you can see the page is loading and so this is the loading but you will not get the data because you have not configured the database yet right so you need to do two things first thing you need to configure the database so go on that page the php admin part and go on the click on the databases and after that uh, in from the stacked folder you need to create the database with the same name the sql file name so copy the name and then come in here and copy and paste it right don't add sql file so once you click on that then this database has been created now click on the import click on the choose file and after that choose the same sql file right then this one and this one right once you click on the go that database will be imported and you will be able to get all of the database all of the tables so you can see this all tables are coming here now again if you refresh this page then the project will not work because you have not configured the class path so for setting up the class path you need mysql jar which is available in your email now what you have to do you have to download that mysql.jar and <coughs> copy the mysql.jar in the lib folder so here i have already copied so this is the mysql.jar oh there is no mysql yep <coughs> there is no mysql now i am copying it from some other folder uh, let, let me check it's here or not no it's not here also right so what i am doing uh, i am going to copy the mysql jar file right here in our system let me check again no it's not available here as well uh, in the lib folder mysql jar it's not available here right 
so i am going to download it from my email so you will get the email email.com you will get the email id you will i'm going to download this java software download and <coughs> java software download right and just uh, i'm going to download this java software folder here okay so it's downloading so it will take little bit time okay so let's wait for download okay so the software size is i think 300 plus mb so you need you can copy just wait for the download It's taking a little bit time. Yeah, it has been downloaded. So total software size is 247 MB. Now let's complete wait for the completion. Once it's completed, you can extract the Java software folder. And after that, you will get the MySQL.jar file there. Yeah, it's taking time. I don't know why it's taking time. <coughs> yeah it's completed now click and extract it finish oh there is some issue what's the issue extract it finish what's i think there is some issue downloads and then yeah it's completed extract all so it's not so uh, this is the mysql.jar file i downloaded it now where i have to go i have to go in the c drive and the program files apache software tomcat 7 and the leaf folder you need to copy the mysql.jar file here once you copy it then you need to copy the location from here and now you need to set the class path so for setting up the class path right click on the pc properties and after that you need to go on the environment variables right so here right click and the advanced system settings and the environment variables here you need to create the new path that is a class path right? and copy and slash mysql.jar Okay, so you can check the path we have set. Click on OK and OK. Right, close. Open the CMD and check that the class path has been set or not. How to check? Echo CLA class path. Okay, it's what it's here. Yes, it has set now what you have to do just right click and stop services stop the tomcat and then start the tomcat means restart your tomcat server now go and check your page you can check the data is coming because you have successfully configured your database right so this is the full setup steps let me go through one by one again right so what you have to do the first thing download all softwares softwares and projects second extract software and project Third, install JDK 1.8. This is the third step. Fourth, install Tomcat 
Tomcat, um, Tomcat 7, says install jam server, jam server, right? And sixth, install jam server, <coughs> start open jam control panel and start apache apache and mask of third seventh start content server right it copy the folder in project folder project folder in web apps folder ninth setup class path and uh, import database and 11th run the project so this is the 11 these are the 11 steps which you need to follow to run the project right so if you face any issue uh, during the setup then you can text me on the whatsapp or you can email me too i will help you to figure out and to fix that issue right so thanks for watching the video thank you very much